the information can be the like a data it can be a voice it can be a signal it can be a, uh, the images it can be uh, moving images uh, the, uh, nothing but the videos so we saw so how this can be taken for the uh, telemedicine practice so that's what uh, we saw in the um, the previous classes so uh, for understanding uh, when you look for the telemedicine so we look for the mobile health care so when you talk about the mobile health care so we required kind of uh, uh, the dedicated device okay so uh, so uh, uh, the device which will have the feature of uh, connecting the patient with the uh, the doctor okay so uh, we need to have kind of uh, interface so the client interface we can say um, or we can say the uh, the patient side interface okay so this interface for the pda so on the mobile phone so the uh, pda is not even uh, 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 nowadays the mobile phone is uh, uh, mostly we are using so the uh, pda is the personal uh, assistant uh, the digital assistant we can say so uh, when you look this kind of uh, the interface for the pds so the mobile phone so uh, the patient will be connecting with the doctor so uh, there is no need of very uh, what is a very uh, prescribed setups and all those things so yeah, through the mobile phone they can connect with it so that is the the technology advancements we can say so nowadays the uh, <clears throat> the interface uh, if we are bringing with the mobile phone so that will be easy to have the telemedicine practice okay so uh, we have like a, when you look for the mobile health care and all the things so the sms based emergency uh, messaging system so uh, whenever the patient requires so uh, if the patient is in the emergency situations so uh, the based on the situation so uh, we can we can have like a uh, sending the sms to the doctors and the healthcare professionals in the hospital so uh, we need to have like a, uh, the interface so which uh, which is going to be uh, um, uh, connect with the doctor and patient so uh, with the mobile devices and other things so we need to uh, we need to look for the kind of design aspects uh, some dedicated instruments so, so with the, that dedicated instruments will be connected with the mobile interface so that so the patients will be uh, will be uh, kind of say uh, say example if you are bringing them very uh, uh, very okay, so some 10 to 15 uh, set of uh, steps to connect with the uh, the patients with the doctor so it will be very difficult so if you need to have the uh, kind of uh, um, the, the easy interface so that the uh, the elderly people if they uh, if we are building a systems to for the elderly people so they want uh, a, a, in any emergency situation they have to connect with the doctor means you need to have the very few steps so that they will be connecting with the doctor immediately so that is a, so we need to develop that's what i'm trying to say here we need to develop such kind of instruments to um, and uh, make uh, the interface to connect with the doctor. So, so the use of mobile devices in telemedicine. Uh, now we have the like a lot of applications quite a few. In the pandemic, uh, we can know that. So, the lot of um, uh, the, the teleconsultation is happening because uh, uh, we are restricted to uh, visit the hospital frequently. So, we have the teleconsultation ops, uh, options. So, through that. So a lot of uh, uh, um, uh, organizations they increase for the teleconsultations through the mobile phone and the video calls and other things. Okay, so we need to look for the devices which is um, benefit for the uh, telemedicine purpose and all those things. So when you look uh, for the uh, the mobile devices and other things, we can say say handheld devices. So. Uh, when we are using for the, this practice, we have a lot of uh, benefits. So similarly, we have like a uh, limited uh, limitations also with the devices. So because when you are using the uh, handheld devices and all those things, we have some limitations also. So uh, the computational resources, uh, we have the uh, limitations on that. So that is also we need to know. So we can't say that uh, we have uh, we have a more advantage so we have few um, um, kind of limitations also when you're using this uh, 
handheld devices for the telemedicine practices and all this. So when you look for the, uh, the capacity, memory capacity, you know, limited memory capacity, we have, but nowadays um, um, the, um, the latest mobiles uh, handheld devices, uh, we have the capacity. So, but uh, for the, uh, the memory capacity itself, we are, we are, we are uh, we about to spend like uh, more money. Okay, so that also we need to consider here. Okay, so the basic device, if you have, you will be getting as a the minimum memory capacity. So if you want to boost the memory space and other things, so you need to spend more money towards the particular handheld devices. So that is also one of the concerns we need to uh, check here. So the and when you look for the the, the speed, the, the processing speed and other things, execution, uh, so it's a, a little slow when you connect with the, the several apps and other things. So that is also we need to consider here. Okay, so the screen size uh, definitely when you compare with the desktop system as well as the, uh, like a, uh, the mobile devices. So if you compare desktop as well as a laptop system with the mobile phone, so the, the screen size is the very very comparatively small. So if you are want to bring the same sophisticated uh, the, um, the display systems and all those things, the viewing systems and all those things. Definitely, you need to have the kind of um, kind of um, reduced images and other things. So the uh, detailed information will be available, but still it will be the uh, the zooming has to be there and other things. That is what I am I'm having this session here. So the size, uh, small screen size, as well as the uh, input devices, whatever we are connecting. So that is the stylus and all those things. Then uh, we need to have kind of um, uh, kind of uh, solutions with that. So <coughs> when you when you look for the uh, rectifying the issues, so we'll be uh, bringing the client server based approach. So we'll be using some kind of filtering techniques uh, for the data, whatever we are using. So we can have the uh, large images. Say example, the large images will be viewed in the desktop or laptop so which is not feasible when you are going for the handheld devices or something that type so we can have the partitioning of the images uh, so that can be uh, taken for the, uh, the the smaller smaller uh, uh, reduced sizes and all those things so when you are partitioning part one part two like that so uh, we can have all the images uh, contain, um, say example one two three we can name as a partition one two three like that then we can uh, view the, uh, the entire information so that is uh, uh, we can do uh, some this kind of activities then the buffer management we can have okay so then uh, when you're looking for the accessing the, uh, the servers and all those things for the uh, information so what kind of information is required in the telemedicine so definitely the patient information medical information and all those things so um, we will be looking the uh, kind of uh, all the patient records and all those things so we we'll look for the um, a wireless medium as well as a wired medium so when you want to access all the information from the server okay so uh, this can be done from the patient end as well as a this can be done from the uh, healthcare professionals. Okay. So uh, the, all the patient data, so the, uh, it has to be browsed. So uh, sometimes uh, the patient also can take the profile um, of their uh, history and all the things. Sometimes the healthcare professionals also, so both end. So they will be, uh, they'll be taking the patient data. So the browsing of the patient data will be always will be happening with the database. So we need to access the server. So the, definitely the next level, so if they are planning for the treatment and all those things, so they will be looking for the, uh, the kind of prescription of the drugs and as well as advice from the physician. Okay, so this has to be, so, the, so you need to understand the patient data is important as well as the prescriptions of the uh, medicines as well as the uh, advice. So this, uh, whatever they are to follow, all of and all those things. So this all is in from the server. So this can be connected with the server. So we we'll be taking all the information. So when you are taking the uh, the patient data, already I told you the data can be the text as well as the images can be taken. Yeah. Okay. 
So this is the information already I showed you uh, the telemedicine system which is developed in the IIT Karakpur. So we are taking the um, this uh, screenshot for uh, uh, to have the detailed way here. Okay, so already I showed you right. Right. So the patient ID. So the summary of the patients will be available. Then the disease category whether they are going for the uh, conditions which conditions are like malaria or uh, general medicines and all these things so then and the entry date assigned a doctor so here also you need to understand so who is the assigned doctor for the particular patient so that is also it's very very important so this entire information so this is the uh, patient queue for the particular the software module okay so we have the local patient queue so the patient queue will be having the all the patient id okay so the patient summary as well as uh, what kind of disease they have then the entry so the assigned who is the assigned doctor okay so when you have this uh, information here so uh, in the desktop so the same information has to be available into the uh, uh, kind of um, the the smaller device also handle devices also so when you are making with this uh, you can have this this is a say example patient cues okay who is the patient who is the uh, uh, so when you are clicking with that so you will be getting uh, all the information okay so when you bring this uh, desktop version to the pda versions so you will be requiring you will be showing only the required information so the first line of information uh, say example when you're opening some um, the page in your mobile phone it will be asking you to um, select that whether you want the, uh, the mobile versions or you want to have the uh, the desktop version so if you have the desktop version if you're clicking you will get the huge information but when you come for the mobile um, page and all those things uh, you will be getting as a uh, the first line information we can say so what is the uh, important information to, uh, for your uh, purpose it will be showing okay so that is what i mean i just i want to show here so the similarly we need to have the test reports so the test reports so we can have the different fragments uh, so the fragment one fragment two and all those things so you can have all the information uh, so whatever the rbc count uh, is open of this, um, uh, what the, when the test is taken, what is the date, uh, test date as well as the uh, entry date, everything can be taken here. Okay, so this is the example I'm showing here. Um, then the prescription form, writing form, so we have, so in that, uh, so the, we have options here that, so they developed in such a way that, so you need to choose the drug, which drug you are going to um, suggest for the patients advice is given so what kind of formulation is that about you know how much of the dose they have to take so uh, whether it's a uh, say example 10 mg 20 mg like that okay so all the information it has to be given so once it's given it will go to the uh, the patient database so it will be given to the pharmacy department also so we will be we will be looking for the pharmacy uh, department in the later stage okay so when you look for the bringing a, your desktop version to the PDF, uh, in the PDF versions. So we have like a multimedia data. So in the PDF. So when you're looking for the multimedia data in PDF, so our mobile phone we can take. So uh, example I'm going to show here. So when you have this versions, so the PDF versions. So very, very important thing is few um, the images when uh, whenever you are displaying. So the viewing and marking of the images. Okay, so uh, <coughs> you need to have the options here that so the marking of the images as well as the zooming of the images. So you need to have so that the comment also can be given here itself. So the you know, so if the uh, the doctor is seeing the this uh, images and other things, so they can have the comment on that. So what what would be the area of interest? So where this uh, say example the tumor is present as well. Or uh, um, some uh, the patches are there, so they have to identify that patches are not missing. So that can be taken here. Yeah. Okay. So this uh, zooming and marking. So we need to understand that. So when you are bringing your uh, desktop version to the uh, the PDA version, so you can see here the menu is available, back button is available. So the command they can write here. Okay. So the 
you can you can work on that so you can bring on your own GUI systems uh, with the modules okay so this is the example I'm showing here so like that when you have the uh, ECG this the data display so you can see that the ECG waveform is available so they can have so the zooming purpose uh, we need to have here okay so which lead we have we are uh, lead one or something so the forward uh, and the backward 2x zoom 4x zoom all the things so this is a mobile display okay so we are bringing it to the desktop versions to the mobile display okay. so you can see that the back uh, the refresh button also we have here okay so you can you can see here the, the skin patches and all those things so the zooming options has to be given so this is also so this is one of the skin patch so yeah, when you are bringing with the, uh, the mobile versions and all the things, the graphs and charts also, it's very, very important. So there are two uh, uh, things are given here. So one is a graph and as, uh, the growth chart is given. So uh, we can we can take with the uh, with the uh, X, Y scale. So what is the condition? So, so we can uh, take for the the condition so so from the 0 to 0 20 40 like that it's uh, taken so the h uh, sc graph this is so another important is uh, the kind of uh, the flow chart we can say as a uh, so the family tree so let's say example the patient is uh, coming for the diabetic okay so they they are consulting the doctor to the diabetic so they uh, the doctor will be posting the question to the patients so whether their mother or father they are diabetic like that so the family history has to be collected so so the different marking uh, the sectors will be kept here so with that note so they will be asking that the, some uh, few uh, personal questions how many sisters brother so you have so what is the family history what is that so everything can be written so this is nothing but a family history uh, tree okay so with that so they can have some kind of analysis so the graphs and charts also this is also bringing to the mobile versions so another important thing here, here is the emergency messaging services uh, using the iMedic uh, pen so we will be having the kind of um, emergency services the patient already I told you right the patients will be connecting with the, with the doctors cell phones directly okay so uh, the patients will be sending the sms okay so um, if any conditions uh, so of uh, the uh, the patient condition is uh, some emergency situation if they are in that uh, uh, situation so they will be sending say example uh, the patient uh, uh, neuro patient is there so the neuro patients always they will be having the communication with the doctor so if any emergency immediately uh, they will be connecting with the doctor through the SMS and all those. For that, this uh, emergency messaging service will be using here. So the um, uh, they will be looking for the, uh, the referral to the other doctors also. Okay. So um, we'll be following the the multi-tier architectures. So with that, we'll be seeing in the later stage. So when you look for the EMS, uh, uh, so the server will be connected. So um, it will be kept in the outside the firewall uh, uh, intercepting the incoming as well as the outgoing messages and all this. So you need to uh, have the uh, firewall for the incoming as well as the outgoing. Okay. So here this is the emergency messaging system. So okay, we just kept in the, uh, uh, this is the firewall I'm saying, right? So entire database as well as the, uh, uh, the business uh, logic layers as well as the the desktop will be handled devices with all the it's connected here. So you, this is the entire architecture for the EMS. Okay. So once uh, the system is activated, so you will be sending the uh, SMS uh, in the through the GSM modem. So it is connected to so the different devices. It will be connected. So it's it's to have the uh, sending the alert to the, uh, the uh, from the patient and to the doctor. So so that immediate doctor will be responded to that okay. situation so when you are uh, when you are sending the messages and all those things so we have some few message classifications also so whether they are sending the alert so for, for the emergency so this is a message type we have so for that we have the different 
support systems are. So, so when you're looking for the emergency, you will be looking, or you are giving the kind of alert. So that's a code is not even the ALR. So with that code itself, the, they will come to the conclusion that what is the condition of the um, patient. So what uh, situations uh, they are they are uh, they are trying to reach the doctors. So that is we need to. So if, say, example, the patient is sending. Uh, um, uh, alert to the so the the, uh, the uh, indication to the doctor so higher fever uh, some more not one degree uh, like that okay so if the uh, the uh, doctor is attending the some other case very um, uh, very critical case in the ICU so they will be holding for some time to reply back to this patients right by the time so some other doctor will be general physician will be acting to them, like that i'm saying okay so we need to have the message type so the message type will be giving like a, uh, whether the emergency or reminder or regular uh, refer uh, you are going for the regular visit or referral refer to patients or appointment so once the doctor is uh, can also can give the appointment or uh, patient also can give the appointments after receiving the prescriptions and others. So, the, the, and the group message and others. So, these are all the different message types. So, uh, the between course. So, with the code only, the message will be given to the. So, here the example of the message length uh, reduction is given. So, the ALR. So, the already I told you the ALR is nothing but the alert. Okay. So, so uh, we are giving the kind of uh, information the message type is alert so we can have all the informations here okay so whatever the command you want to give attend the cardiac patients blood pressure suddenly becomes very high some abnormality found in ecg okay so the immediate information so the priority you can fix that so you can fix the uh, deadline so uh, which locations they have the patient is available uh, they need uh, uh, the they need um, and the concern okay so to see the patient so that all things has to be uh, the location is all the same so what is the temperature level the blood pressure so pulse rate everything can be taken here okay? okay so this is the original image we have uh, 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 with that so we have almost 262 character this is the original information so I we want this all information if you are sending to the PD or mobile devices then it will be with it. We want to reduce the character. So it's reduced to the 208 character. So we can give the information that so alert is given. Um, uh, we have like the priority is very high. What is the deadline? Which locations we have? So what is the count? Then the required information. Few informations here. It's a taken away. Okay. So. Uh, that you need to understand. Okay, so uh, when you are when you are looking for the, uh, the reducing the text, say example, if you are making the blood pressure or uh, B dot P, so it, it will give you the, uh, the 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 information that the blood pressure. So like that. So if you are reducing the compressing the message, will give you the lesser character. So when you are bringing the lesser character, it will be immediately it will be. We are not missing any uh, the uh, the. Uh, critical informations we are giving all we are providing all critical information that has to be we, we, we can't avoid uh, um, any diagnosed parameters or something of all the parameters has to be included here yeah, that is also it's very important so similarly we need to have the message formatted so the uh, we will be having the message uh, intention as well as fragmentations and other things so here the another example is given fragment one as well as and you can see the fragment too. So we have like a 135 characters here. The here is a reduced 103. So the, this is also information is given as a um, uh, the alert uh, information. So okay, uh, message type. So what are the information? So sometimes it can be given. Okay, so this is an example here. So, so this is a SMS message management. Management. So we have like a uh, doctor list so the what is the send message so the different types of uh, whether the alert regular or referred so this all which date and time so uh, message is given to the doctor so whether the, uh, the message doctor uh, what messages whether the message received or sent to the doctor so everything can be taken as well in the uh, sms message management 
then we have an example of uh, uh, emergency messages so we can have the uh, text message okay so this is also will give you the kind of uh, information about the patient so when the patient is admitted in the hospital so um, patient is um, um, in the emergency situation so for the uh, okay so this is a so when you are looking for the uh, emergency messaging systems, so you need to have all the information. So when you are looking for the uh, in, uh, the information about the you know, the patients, so will be uh, depending on the patient condition. Okay, so <clears throat> that is also it's a very very important. If the patient is uh, uh, in the emergency uh, ward and all those things, so we need more information. Okay, so what kind of uh, and uh, you know, whether the, the patient is conscious or unconscious uh, conditions and all those things. So uh, what, uh, whether the, any bleeding is occurring and all those things. So everything has to be uh, uh, given as a text. So, um, uh, so that it will be easy for them to uh, make uh, ready for the, uh, the uh, treating protocols and all those things.